guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mar, and we make art or something similar to it here. So, hello again. I keep going back and forth, but I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, today's video, you're gonna be designing with me or painting with me or something similar to that because we're gonna upload some art to Redbubble, which is a print-on-demand site, which means that you upload your design on different products from shirts to socks from coasters to posters i'm not trying to make rhymes on purpose <laughs> and if the site sells that product that your design is in you get a portion of the sale it's a great way to have extra income or any kind of income it's passive income and i encourage you if you're a designer an artist, a photographer, or someone who just likes to make things to post your designs on Redbubble and you may end up having sales <laughs> for real, like I'm not kidding. I opened my own shop in 2019 and I didn't have any sales up until 2021, which I started uploading again. And I uploaded this design <laughs> that I don't know why people keep buying. I'm not, I'm not complaining, it's just crazy. I uploaded this design that is inspired by the song Brutal by Olivia Rodrigo and people really liked it and they started buying it so I'm so happy. But anyways, I like to make a lot of things so I kept uploading things related to Olivia Rodrigo so maybe I could have any other sale and I really love her music so that's not a job for me. Also, I made some designs inspired by Taylor Swift which is another woman that I love. I love Taylor Swift so much and other stuff that I like involving nature, space and just illustrations that I think that can make a really cool design on different products. So I'm gonna make some designs and I'm leaning towards more abstract artwork. I really enjoy doing that so I hope you guys like this video and well let's go! So for the designs that I'm gonna be uploading, I decided to use some acrylics and an old notebook that I used as an art journal to make this kind of abstract thing. I used a card that is an old bus card that is no longer usable here, so that's kind of sad, but I don't know. I think it makes a really cool effect and if you want to do this, it's really simple. Just throw some acrylics and be inspired do some shapes with a card and I promise you that it will look cool. I particularly love the right page right away but the left page for me was a mess from start to finish. I did not like it at all and I ended up making a whole mess up until I decided to just leave it there that I'm gonna just fix it later. So we are here later and I did not fix anything, it looked worse, so I'm gonna give my last shot here and decided to like make a new thing, not all over, but kinda like new. So now I like better this kind of pink vibe, I ended up cutting a little bit of the card so it had a little bit like teeth to make more lines and I think that that looks a little bit better than it did before and with the wide strokes i think that gives a little bit more life than it was before and it looked pretty good at the end so this is what both paint look up close i think they're pretty interesting and they are different from each other here I'm gonna be using the same technique as I did before, but now we're gonna make green with yellow and blue. I really love the color green. I never did before, but I think Dakota Johnson changed my mind. I think this technique is pretty cool and actually really fun, so I encourage you to do this. Whenever you're feeling like you don't know what to do, do this. Seriously, something pretty will come up and you will find yourself making something and that will make you feel inspired and maybe do something else later. 
as the other ones these are some close-ups so you can see the different colors and i think they make a uh, really pretty and i don't know i really enjoy making these things so what i've done is i've taken pictures of the parts of the paints that i like the most so i'm gonna edit them so it looks a little bit more eye-catching for redbubble and maybe for some i can make some edits like maybe add text or an illustration to it so it looks a little bit more interesting but i really like the way that these paints look by themselves i think they look really pretty i don't know about you but i like them maybe i'm a little bit biased but so this one is a little bit too bright for me so i'm gonna put that a little bit down but i'm gonna add up some contrast so it pops more and some saturation as well yep that looks a little bit better you know what it looks way more vibrant in real life than it looks on the computer it's always gonna be like that like the colors they never match no matter what you do they never match but i like this so far i think it looks pretty good i'm gonna adjust some basic things in each paint and then we're gonna figure out if we can make something different or we're just gonna let them be The size of this Canva is huge because I don't want to have to be adjusting each thing in red bubble. This is 4,000 width by 5,000 height. The whole canvas, I'm talking about pixel, pixels. I'm talking about pixels, 4,000 by 5,000 pixels. So it looks good on red bubble and besides the size of each thing in Redbubble is different, so I'm trying to make it as big as possible without losing quality, so I don't have to change each picture on Redbubble. So this one, I think I'm gonna leave it as it is. I think it looks really good this way. This one I really like. I think I can make something out of it, not just the plain paint, but something over it. I'm just thinking about what, but I think it would look great. I think maybe if I can make a little bit of writing over it with my own hand. I'm thinking about the song Jungle by Tash Sultana. Uh, saying welcome to the jungle are you gonna dance with me that phrase so after failing miserably I decided that I'm gonna use a font instead of trying to write in it myself and I decided to use the one that's called misto that is available for commercial use that's why I use it I'm trying to finesse some details in the phrases, the spacing, and also I turn the font to white because it looks way better that way. So I really like the way it ended up. With this one, I decided to make a double exposure with a picture of the sunset that I took. And I think it really looks pretty when it comes to the texture. And with this one, I did the same, but instead of a picture of the sky, I used a picture of the ocean that I also took on vacation. I like making double exposures because you fuse two forms of art and I think that they can look really pretty. Now we're in my red bubble page. As you can see, I have uploaded plenty of designs, 62 to be exact. And they go from photography to illustration to pretty much anything because I love making different things. So that's why. And my most popular design is this one. It's brutal out here. I don't know why. But 
this is it and we're gonna start uploading I'm gonna upload first the double exposure between the sky and the paint because I think it looks really beautiful first I'm gonna put everything in order here always remember to enable everything here it's on children's clothes I don't know why it doesn't automatically enable it but always remember to enable it i think it looks really good on this size when it comes here it has to be a little bit bigger so i'll fix that later good i think it looks really pretty like i think i would i would buy this if i had money <laughs> or if things didn't take up to two months to arrive here really i'm i'm not kidding it, it does it does so i have fixed everything that needed to be fixed size wise and i think everything looks pretty good and it looks really cute i haven't enabled this one or this one either because i think that the size is way too big and maybe i will lose a lot of quality so i don't want to do that and as you can see here, I have put my title, my tags, and my description on in Spanish because that's my first language and it's gonna translate it automatically later on when I publish it. So now we have check that is photography and mix techniques, I guess. And I'm gonna put it in my abstract and clouds collection. And I'm gonna do the same thing with every single one and then i'm gonna show you how it looks so here we are as you can see i have an abstract collection and i have put every single design here that i've made today this one here this one here this one with the ocean and this one i think my favorite is the welcome to the jungle or this one i don't know why i just really like it and I think it looks really good and I don't know I think it's really cool to make this stuff and also when you see all the products that your art is in I lose my mind like I cannot believe that this is even possible okay guys we have reached the end of the video and if you liked it don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications because that really helps me also, you can leave a like or a comment if you really like the video. I love your comments. And this is my other social media if you want to follow me there. Thank you guys so much. Again, we are 350. I'm so happy. I hope I'll see you the next time. Bye!